Hey guys, Dave Moore, idavemore.com, talking today about a jacket. More specifically, this here Rothko Spec Ops jacket. So the down and dirty. Brand is Rothko, the model is the Spec Ops, and you can buy it on Amazon for about $100. So it's very affordable, it's along with all of the other jackets out there. So let's talk about it. What does it have, sizing, fit, all of that good stuff. As you can see, this is the OD Green. The OD green color is kind of an off color, but nonetheless, it is still green. The size is extra large, at least for me. Now this jacket does fit to size. So if you're an extra large and you like a jacket to fit like an extra large with a little bit of room to fit a holster, all that good stuff, go ahead and get an extra large. As a reference, I'm 5'8 and I weigh 230. And this jacket, as you can tell, fits me pretty well. So extra large. I'm going to start at the sleeves to talk about the features here. So around the wrists, we have some Velcro, really strong Velcro. The Velcro attachment here is actually built in. So it's that real thick kind of uh, industrial type Velcro and that's around the sleeves to adjust them to fit the size. Down here on the sleeve, we have a little pocket. This is where I keep like a chapstick or something. Moving up, we have a pocket on either side of the arm here. This pulls down just like that. You can put stuff in it, and it even has a little black loop thing here to put an MP3 player and feed your cord up into your ears. So once again, this other side, same thing. Open pocket with a little MP3 attachment. Each sleeve has Velcro, that industrial Velcro, so you can put your patches here like I have. Obviously, I've got Sage Dynamics, American Flag, and my blood type. The zipper is actually very smooth. Whenever you zip it, it zips right up. There's no uh, jittering or anything like that in those cheap zippers that some jackets tend to have. On the inside, we've got a pocket right here. This is where I keep my tack stamp, so I have it with me at all times. Over here, another pocket, same concept. So your main pockets are right here on the sides. These are the pockets that you're probably going to use the most. Inside of them, there is elastic loop and net. So you can put in a knife or a flashlight, what have you. It's got all that in it, as well as a key ring loop, which I don't really use. But let me kind of pull this inside out. You can see that there's some netting and you've got these elastic loops to put stuff in. And that's on both sides of this jacket. So main pocket right there. As you can see, this jacket does have a hood. The cool thing about this hood is it is removable and it is stowable in this collar compartment here. It has a Velcro tab to keep it in place when you're not wearing it. Also, on the back and on the sides of this hood, there are elastic adjustment bands. What that does is it allows you to adjust the top of the hood to fit more like a hat, and you can pull the sides tight to allow you to still have peripheral visions even while wearing this hood. So as you can see, the interior lining of this jacket is fleece, which is nice. Now mind you, this is not a wintertime parka type jacket, but I will tell you, I wore this all winter and I tend to not get cold very easy and this kept me warm just fine. The outer layer is that soft shell type material. It is a little bit swishy, so probably not the best for hunting, but it is water repellent. I don't want to say waterproof because I assume if you're in a torrential downpour, there's going to be a little bit of leakage, but in a basic rain, this keeps the water off of you, no problem. So a downfall to this jacket is most likely the hood here. Not the hood itself, but the stowable aspect of it. We all know that most jackets have this collar with a zipper compartment that you can fold the hood up, toss it in there, and it's out of sight, out of mind. But since this hood is also fleece lined and rather thick, when it is put into this collar, it's very bulky. And it tends to be a little bit uncomfortable on your neck. So you might wanna just remove the collar or remove the hood altogether, or just leave the hood hanging in the back like I do. There are also adjustable elastic straps here in the waistband. Now, that's both good and bad. We all know carrying on the hip, carrying appendix, what have you, those drawstrings tend to get inside of holsters. So these might be one thing that you cut and just remove from the jacket. I haven't done it just yet. Last but not least is this back compartment here. On either side of the back, there is a zipper. 
which allows you to store hat, gloves, what have you. As you can tell in here, I've got gloves and a hat. So it's a really cool pocket, like an ass pocket, that you can just put whatever you want and it's right there, easy to grab. My final thoughts on this jacket are thumbs up. It is warm, but not too warm. It's water resistant. It's got pockets everywhere to put all of your gizmos and gadgets and whatnot. I like the ass flap because I can put my hat and my gloves in there if it gets a little bit too cold. The design of the hood is awesome. I do like that. And I like that it is removable because if I know I'm not going to be in inclement weather, I can just take it off and be even more comfortable. The fit of this jacket is to size. So if you wear an extra large, get an extra large. If you want your jacket much, much bigger, get a size up. And if you like your jackets a little bit tighter, get a size down. But for the most part, these do fit to size, which is nice. And the zipper is a dual zipper. So you've got the top zipper and then obviously your bottom zipper here if you want to flash people or for whatever that's really for. But it is a smooth zipper, haven't had any problems with it so far. So if you're looking for a medium warmth jacket and you kind of want that tactical look, go ahead and check it out, Rothko Spec Ops Soft Shell Jacket. The only thing is the color isn't exactly OD green, but I've really had no problems with it you know, so far. And that's it guys, that's all for the Rothko Spec Ops Jacket. Make sure you like me on Instagram or follow me on Instagram. Like this video, share if you'd like to, and keep shooting.